The eighth day of Eagles train campers underway this morning and a lot to go over here. Miles Jack was thrown into the fire today and it's given this linebacker core a little bit of a competition which we all expected. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. So Eagles train camp day eight uh, was underway this morning and uh, a lot to talk about here regarding the roster and some changes um, that I definitely want to speak on. Um, so to the injury report for the Philadelphia Eagles today, um, not, you know, some added, but some actually were getting better at the, uh, on the injury report just a little bit. So Deion Kane is still out with the ankle. N'Kobe Dean is still out and Patrick Johnson um, is obviously has that calf ankle injury right now, so he will not be practicing. But the great thing is that Devin Allen returned uh, today and got some work on special teams, and James Bradbury uh, was limited as well coming back too. So, I mean, uh, even with Bradbury being gone, I mean, the cornerback's room has been looking pretty good with some really good depth pieces that really been shining a little bit, which I'll go over later in this video. Um, but like I said, most importantly, with N'Kobe Dean still being out as of right now, and hopefully later on, uh, we'll get some, you know, hopefully we get some better news, um, and hopefully be back this week. I don't know how many more days, but he's running, he's jogging, he's doing things, which is good, so he's moving around, so he's not too limited, but he's still watching practice for the day. Now it comes to Jalen Hurts. And this offense, seven on sevens, five for five, which was great. Um, I think the only bad thing he did today was throw a pick, which was he rolled to his right, threw a deep one to Quez, and Blankenship went right in front of it. I think it was underthrown just a little bit. Blankenship, uh, Blankenship still showing up um, as, you know, for me, as at least being the one of the prime starters. Um, that has been a consistent starter in camp from OTAs to really camp, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, Alameda or Alameda Zacchaeus um, is another one uh, where he made a couple catches, uh, one uh, one on ones and seven on sevens against Big Play Slay today. So um, you know, I think obviously they are going to have Quez Watkins and Zacchaeus, but um, even Zacchaeus has been doing some you know cross training or at least not really cross training, but you know uh, working on special teams as well. Which I don't know if he's going to get the job there on kick return, punt return, but as a wide receiver so far, I feel like they're still going to use. Zacchaeus and Quez for different things during the season, um, as well as having, you know, DeAndre Swift and some of these other guys that are in this offense. As much as we think there is a competition here, I think Quez is still the guy, but Zacchaeus has been rolling up a little bit, um, you know, got some reps with the first team offense. So definitely, um, you know, exciting to have him aboard. And I think they can use him, like I said, for different ways, whether it's the screen passes, whether it's for slants, whether it's the quick things, because Zacchaeus has that burner speed, no doubt. Uh, Quez Watkins had a 25-yard completion downfield, which was great. Uh, Goddard and Swift were actually lined up on the outside today and had a nice um, uh, catch by Devontae Smith in the middle. So already seeing that they're moving Swift all over the field. We've already been kind of seeing this, but it's nice to hear um, that they've been moving him to the outside with Goddard as like a wide receiver. Like I'm telling you, Swift is going to be a huge focal point, a huge mismatch, and it will open up a lot of plays for for other players in this offense, especially the receivers. So um, Swift is, is definitely that element to this offense that we've needed, especially uh, in, in, you know, uh, for the pass catch catching as well um not just him but the rest of this running back core with you know Rashad Penny and Kenneth Gainwell that that Kenneth Gainwell won't be the only one that's going to be um you know getting catches this year I mean everyone is being utilized pretty much the same way but I think when it comes to a focal point um with this running back spot and how they're using guys I think DeAndre Swift has been the one that they've been putting all over the place, which was pretty good. Um, A.J. Brown is still having a having a monster camp. I mean, when it comes to guys having great camps, it's definitely A.J. Brown with two more catches today. Um, the Jalen Hurts-A.J. Brown chemistry is just getting better and better. They've already had chemistry even before he got to Philadelphia last year. So, I mean, they were practicing every offseason before training camp, and now they're playing with each other. So, um, you know, that uh chemistry is just you know is off the charts right now and AJ Brown nothing to complain about um at all 
Now, when it comes to the offensive line, uh, interesting enough, you know, moves were made that were involved. Um, so the Eagles, um, they had to activate Devin Allen because he was on the pup list. They signed wide receiver Johnny King, I think, was with the Colts, but most likely a practice squad wide receiver. Um, and it looks like Chim Okafor, tackle Chim Okafor was released and Oh, I'm actually surprised that Trevor Reed was actually hasn't done much of anything this camp. I mean, for Louisville, undrafted free agent, gave up like what three hundred, uh, what on three hundred pass blocking attempts last year. He only gave up three sacks. Surprised they really haven't turned him out. You know, turned him into anything. Um, so he's released. But when it comes to the offensive line in general, with Josh Andrews getting signed, Eagles had him. Uh, I think from 2014 for a, a few years. Um, and he is now the backup center for the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, which is kind of crazy and um, kind of reassures you that Cam Jurgens will be the starting right guard most likely. I think it's I think it's already said and done already with Cam Jurgens there. And now Josh Shills returning from obviously acquitted from the um, the court hearings from the kidnapping and rape charges that uh, was dismissed, um, and he was uh, already beating out. Uh, Brett Toth already, uh, which was kind of crazy at the left guard spot. So you, know, you already have Sills and already have that can play multiple positions as a as a backup center. It's great. And now you have Josh Sills, um, you know, Josh Andrews and uh, Josh Sills really taking over spots immediately. So this offensive line group is probably one of the strongest groups I've seen, most versatile group. And that's what Jeff Stoughton wants with his offensive line. So can't complain about that at all. Now, defensively, this was a big day. Miles Jack, Zach Cunningham, a lot to really talk about here. They did some specific work, you know, alone on the side with some of the coaches, obviously, to figure out the terminology. Um, so did some work on their own today. But <laughs> I got to say, the numbers were changed. I think uh, Miles Jack was 46 or 47. I forgot. I think he is 47. And it looks like Zach Cunningham did change his number to 52 and took Davion Taylor's number immediately. So that happened. Um, now, Miles Jack was thrown right into the fire today um, with the first defense already. I mean, he went from third to first. Um, Zach Cunningham was on second team defense. They did not play together at the same time. Um, and it looks like he already made some plays. It looks like Miles Jack had some really good closing speed on Devontae Smith on a little dump off pass, really reading where he was going and really good eyes. I mean, he was thrown to the fire so easily today and already making plays and already moved up to the first team. So it's really starting to tell you. Didn't hear much from Christian Ellis today. So like I said, this linebacker core is getting through a lot of competition. And if Miles Jack, you know, starts to, you know, catch up a little bit, and this is his first practice with the Eagles and is already getting thrown in there and he did a pretty solid job today, and I'm actually excited to see where this whole group is going to go. If Miles Jack could be a nice role player inside this group of linebackers with a really good, um, really good defense around him, you know, great things are to come, hopefully. So I was very happy with that. Jalen Carter uh, looks like he did get first team reps today uh, next to Jordan Davis, which is good. Um, I've wanted to see this, and, and I've, I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping coming out of training camp coming into the regular season is that you know Jalen Carter is starting next to Jordan Davis if not it's not a big deal but I think he will be an immediate impact um and obviously I can't wait till we have joint practice to see what the where the physicality really goes with some of these guys so very excited about that as well now Josh Sweat actually had some off the ball linebacker um off the ball linebacker reps, they kind of how they use Nolan Smith. I mean, really, Sean Desai is really testing a lot of these defensive ends and their ability to do things. And apparently, Josh Sweat had a really good day off the ball coverage on uh, Alameda Zacchaeus, uh, which was great. But, you know, Sean Desai is testing out so many different players to check out the strengths and weaknesses of every player. This is the only way you're going to find out. So you're not putting your players in bad, you're not setting your players up to fail when you line them up on the field. And that's the most important thing. I have to respect Sean Desai for 
that. But since the Nolan Smith role at outside linebacker or off the ball linebacker, um, you're going to have Josh Wett doing the same thing now. And I want to see, you know, if Josh Wett is actually good at it. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. But Sean Desai still testing out a lot of his players. Now, the cornerback position was interesting as well because Ringo actually got first team reps today. Uh, Josh Job is just playing so competitive and I, he's having a fantastic camp. And Eli Ricks had a pass breakup today. We haven't really heard Eli Ricks the whole entire um, Eagles training camp so far. And, um, you know, very excited about that. I think the corner room is really starting to mold a little bit. And, you know, we'll see when we get to joint practices and we get to these preseason games, the back end of our roster at cornerback uh, with the rest with Mario Goodrich and Zach McPherson. And some of these other guys at cornerback, uh, Mecky Gardner has been probably the most physical player, um, you know, in training camp so far and been making plays and is flying all over the place. Um, so a lot of a lot of talk at the cornerback spot. I know we're set at corner right now, but obviously we're looking for that backup nickel and looking for apparently, uh, you know, you know, Keely Ringo is the, you know, is going to take over for big play slay when his contract's over in a couple of years. So you never know what we're going to have on this team by that time. And to, to, to develop cornerbacks like this, it's fantastic. Um, and you got to protect these guys as well, because, uh, you know, you, if someone plays way too good, um, you got to protect them on this practice squad where they can protect a few players where, you know, no teams could really pry them off the roster. And that's what I don't want to happen. Uh, so the cornerback room is is looking very productive. And I'm glad that there's a lot of the more hard decisions that are going to be made by August when they have to make the cuts, the better it's going to be uh, going forward. And lastly, I want to go over special teams. Um, A.J. Brown is still returning kicks. I, I don't know why or punts. I, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know what's going on i really don't uh but i think this was kickoff now the kickoff depth chart as of right now kick return depth chart they have boston scott rashad penny um kenneth gainwell and devin allen so devin allen gets his first practice i, I really want i really want to see what devin allen has i really do we all know what Britton covey is really dealing with the punt returns right now and whoever else they really put there quez Watkins, greg ward you know players like that but kick return wise I'm interested to see what they do here. Devin Allen getting some reps. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Boston Scott on the kick returns. I really wasn't a big fan last year. Rashad Penny is a lot lighter, lost some weight, and feels a lot lighter on his feet. And obviously, from what we heard, um, and people have watched Rashad Penny in his career back in college, Rashad Penny did return a lot of punt, uh, a lot of kicks as well. So could they be going back to, you know, what he used to do in college? So that's going to be interesting. You know, obviously. Special teams is one of the worst uh, so far when it comes to, I mean, the redhead stepchild of this team is special teams, Michael Clay, and it's really got to get better. The blocking schemes have got to get better, and we just have to look better as a third part of our game right now. That seems like a lot of Eagles fans, you know, really, you know, normally won't care about, but it's very important, guys. Um, got to do a good job there. So other than that, that's pretty much it. A lot of good things. Uh, to go over, um, you know, Miles Jack just getting first team reps, which, you know, from third to first team making stops already, which is great. The cornerback room is molding very nicely. A lot, you know, more, the more hard decisions they make, it's going to be tougher uh, to make some of these cuts and some of these guys that are going to make this team um, lining up DeAndre Swift on the outside, obviously as a wide receiver, we're not really, you know, we're not really surprised over that. Zacchaeus has, you know, had some reps with the first team today. So um, playing chip, making a play on Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts being pretty good today. Besides the pick he played, you know, he was pretty good. He was getting distributing the ball very well to a lot of these guys. Um, you know, Zach Cunningham with the second team, the offensive line group is starting to mold a little bit even more as well with Josh Sills taking over that left guard backup spot for Dickerson. And obviously Josh Andrews is really, um, you know, is already the backup center <laughs> or already, which means Cam Jurgens is most likely the starting right guard this year, which I've been saying constantly. Um, so that was the eighth day of training camp for the Philadelphia Eagles. If you last this long on this video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well for more Eagles updates every single day. There will be practice tomorrow at the link. Now, it's not open practice. They will have practice tomorrow at Lincoln Financial Field. And, um, yeah, so hopefully, uh, you know, get some more tape tomorrow and uh, see what's going on with another day of Eagles training camp. You guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.